Hey everyone, this is Mr. Hosha again. Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, the word promise. The word promise has two meanings, I would say. One meaning is when you talk about someone's skills or abilities. Okay, and when this person is a promise, whether whatever he does, when he's a promise, he is likely to be successful in whatever. Uh, he does, okay? He might be a doctor, a soccer player, an athlete, or whatever. But um, today we're going to talk about promise, meaning uh, when you tell someone that, you know, you're going to do something for him or her, all right? So, let's see some collocations with the word promise. So, once uh, you give your word, once you tell this person, you're gonna do something for him. Let's say, oh, I'll help you when you need to move out. For example, I'll help you when you need to move out. So, what are you doing right now? You are making him a promise or giving him a promise is also possible to say. So, when you tell him that you're gonna do something for him, you make or give him a promise, all right? Okay, so be careful when you make promises that you cannot keep, that you cannot keep. Because keeping a promise is actually doing what you promised to do. Okay, you can also say that you deliver, okay, oops, sorry guys, okay, spelling mistake. You deliver on a promise, you deliver on a promise, it, it also means that you keep it. Or you fulfill a promise or you honor your promise okay you honor your promise in everyday speech I'd say that most people would probably use keep your promise okay keep your promise so for example politicians they are believed to uh, make promises that they never keep that they never keep but, of course, you can also say deliver on a promise, fulfill a promise, and honor a promise, okay? Remember, when you use one of these, that means you actually do what you promised to do, okay, guys? If, if you don't do it, if you don't do it, you fail to keep your promise. So, you fail to keep your promise, so you fail to honor your promise, you fail to deliver on your promise, all right? Or you, you can also say that you go back on your promise. Once you promise something, or you promise to do something, and then you go back on it, you go back on it, that means you don't, you don't want to do it. Either because you simply don't want to, or because you cannot do it. You cannot do it. Sometimes, we make promises that we actually cannot keep, right? Okay, so we also say that we break a promise once we've made it and we break it when we do not keep it, okay? And once you break a promise, so we are talking about an unfulfilled or broken promise, okay? So an unfulfilled or broken promise, a promise which was not kept, a promise which was not fulfilled or honored or delivered on. Okay, guys? So um, this is what we have for you today. I hope you, you can learn something from it. So again, don't make promises you cannot keep, you cannot honor. All right, guys? Thanks a lot for watching. If you can think of something else or uh, some other words commonly used with the word promise, uh, write down in the comments below. Okay, guys? Thanks a lot. I'll appreciate that so much. All right? See ya!